Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video. This will be my third card in my capsule paper crafting challenge for the month of February. And today I'm going to be focusing on this stamp set called Huggable from Reverse Confetti. I love this little image down here with the two cats. It reminds me of my Sophie and Daphne. So I thought I would create a card with this stamp set. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to do with this particular card, um, I did a little bit of sketching here, and this one right here, I decided I wanted to just have the the cats and then the greeting and then a bunch of the heart from the stamp set kind of going around it. And I sort of love the idea of using it on craft paper, but as you know, I did not include any craft cardstock in my paper crafting capsule, so I'm going to have to improvise. So I have one of my color mixing charts from my watercolors. And I noticed that sort of like the, the straight brown shade from the watercolor palettes, when you water it down quite a bit, it has a little bit of that craft look to it. So I thought that's what I would use and just do it on watercolor paper. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I have some pieces of watercolor paper from my Fabriano Artistico that are already cut down. I'm going to go ahead and use this piece right here and I'm going to cut it down. Let's see right now it's five inches wide. It's perfect. So it's three quarters larger than an A2 size width. So I'll do the same the other direction. Make it about six and one quarter. All right I've got my watercolor paper here. I'm going to go ahead and use my painter's tape to tape this to a board. All right, here's my mixing palette and also my paints. And the one thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure I have plenty of this watercolor to work with so that as I do my full color wash, I'm going to not run out. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this brown shade. Probably more than I fully anticipate needing. And then I'm just going to add a bunch of water to it. I need to water this down quite a bit so that it has just a very pale warm brown shade. All right. Got a little bit of that watercolor paper that I cut down earlier. And that's not bad. You know, if I get a nice flat color, that's about what I'm looking for. I'm glancing over here to my craft room at my stash of craft paper, which I will not touch because it's not part of my collection for this month, but it is just about that lightness. So I think this is a pretty good pick. I'm gonna hold my board up so that the paint can beat up as I'm painting. And I'm so glad I swapped in this flat brush because it makes doing this flat color so much easier. I'm just making sure I have this color, have enough of the moisture that it keeps moving down this entire area. I just want a really nice flat color. And I am going to have some of it kind of collect here at the bottom, but not a huge deal. Just sopping up some of that color. All right, and then I'm going to hold it like this while I take it with my heat tool and dry it from the top down. All right, got a little bit of this little, kind of like where the paint started to go back up into it, but I'm glad I have a nice big piece of watercolor paper so I can just trim that off. All right, I'm now going to do quite a bit of stamping. I'm gonna start out with my stamp set, the Huggable stamp set from Reverse Confetti. And I'm going to stamp my greeting and also the cat before I do anything else. I'm also going to perform a little bit of stamp surgery by cutting this large greeting which says, uh, let's see, it says sending warm hugs to you. I'm actually going to cut it in half so it's just sending warm and then hugs to you so that I can have it split. And I want the words a little bit closer together. So I'm going, going to wait and stamp the second half. Stamping in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. All 
And this is textured watercolor paper and I actually stamped really well, but I'm going to give it one more stamp just to make sure I get the area nearest the magnet really well. Perfect. And then I'm just stamping the second half of that grating. And while I have my misty out, I'm going to do some colorful stamping with the heart. So I'm going to grab my selections of ink for the month. And I think I definitely want some red. Oh, hello. There we go. <laughs> definitely want some red. I think I'll do shades of pink and red. I think that sounds about right. Okay, I think these five colors will be really pretty, especially on top of this brown shade. So I have, let's see, Cherry Red, Lipstick, Plum Punch, Dusty Rose, and Lovely Lavender. I wish, I wish I knew the road to you. Okay, so I've stamped all of my hearts around the kitties and the greeting. So I'm going to take out my colored pencils and start coloring. Now I've got to take <laughs> got to take out a bunch of this other stuff that aren't colored pencils so I can see what I'm working with. Some of the black lines have gotten lost with all of the pencil, so I'm going to go back over it with a black pen and just accentuate those lines. Every once in a while my pen stops working because it's um, I've got so many layers of colored pencil on there, so I am scribbling on some scratch paper and that brings the pen back to life. I'm also going to add just a little bit of a shadow underneath them and I think just because I want to add a little more interest I'm going to take my Jelly Roll white gel pen and I'm going to add some little intricate things on some of these hearts just for some fun.
Okay, so I finished adding all the white details with my gel pen. So now I'm going to trim this down to the size for a card and then mount on the card base. I wasn't sure if I was going to make this a A2 card or a 5x7. I just decided I would do a 5x7 since I had enough space. So I'm making sure that these outer edges, um, these outer hearts, have some detail on them as well because I think it kind of got lost. Okay, that's pretty good. I want a couple hearts that are just left plain. And I'm cutting a 5x7 card base. And then scoring it at 5 inches. And then I'm putting foam adhesive all along the back. Now because I decided to make this a 5x7 card, that spot at the bottom where the watercolor sort of crept back up into the background is showing down here, but such a minor detail, I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm going to add some dots just in the background just to kind of fill in some of these gaps. It's pretty subtle since the background is pretty light anyway. So that is the finished card for today. I really enjoyed using just the one stamp set, getting my colored pencils out, doing a little bit of watercolor wash in the background. Um, I really love how this turned out. I love that very pale brown background. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate when you guys tune in and I will be back with another card video very, very soon. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.